Burns hitting 221 this season, but puts a jolt into that. It's going to be over the wall for a home run. I told you, with that wind blowing out to left, this ballpark is going to play smaller than usual, and you saw it right there. You knew that ball was headed into the gap. Slapped. Great play made. Burns at short shows why she's one of the best defensive gloves in this conference. Barris connects, it's going to drop, and this ball game is tied. They still, that ball slugged towards the gap in left field, and Gardner-Webb sends one home to take the lead. Here comes Barris from third, two-run score on the two-RBI double. Got the meat of their order up here, Honaker slaps one over the head of the left fielder. That ball's going to go all the way to the wall. Honaker thinking three. Here she comes, here's the throw, not in time. It's a leadoff triple. Payoff. Ripped and grabbed. What a play made by Burns. Payoff pitch, grounder, Burns to first, gets the sure out. Here's Caleb Ishton. Gets one in the gap in left. It's going to get down, and this game's going to be tied. Bishton to second base with a two RBI. Going to be loaded. Gomes. Hits this one deep to left. The wind's going to take it over the wall. It's a two-run home run for Gardner-Webb. We've been talking about that wind blowing out to left all day. And that one pushed by Mother Nature out and could be the difference. Grounded. Back to Darnell. This could do it. Gardner-Webb. It was a roller coaster ride, but they end up winning and advancing to later today to take on the number one seed, Longwood Lancers. What a game.